what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel i know it's been a little bit but i am back i've been pretty busy doing tunes and all that and i really just couldn't i didn't have time to film and all that but i am back now all right and i'm proud to announce that i did end up getting rid of the white lamborghini and because i do have the green one for some of you guys that do know um there's no point in having two so I got rid of the white Lamborghini and I thought I really wanted a GTR but I decided not to get the GTR and get something more business wise and my business is primarily Subarus and you know F820s and I was like I need to get me a EJ. This EJ right here, um, it's a 2016 STI, like 50,000 miles on it, I just picked it up uh most of my clientele like i said is fa20s and i kind of want it this year to kind of jump into the ej scene and get my name more known in that scene i mean i do tune a few i tune a, actually not you know more than a few I tune a couple of hundred but they're basic stage one stage two cars the primary goal of this car is to kind of do the most weird setup put big ass injectors on it and make this a streetable um, maybe eight to 900 horsepower STI. Now, right now the car is completely stock. All right, so the overall plan of this build is not to be an all out drag car, but I am going to do pretty much every modification that you can do to it STI. I'm gonna do it. Um, I am gonna leave the full weight interior and the car will be taken to the drag strip but it's primarily going to be a street car that makes eight to nine hundred horsepower um and we're going to try to do that on a pretty you know good setup built block big turbo all that and i'm going to take all you guys along for a ride on this the main reason i'm doing this is because i'm confident in my tuning abilities for stage one stage two i've done you know stage three builds and i've done rotated setups but normally around like the five or six hundred range i am trying to better my tuning skills and doing you know those big injectors id 2000s you know the new id uh 2600s like i want to make sure that drivability is good idles good all that so that's why i bought this car so that way i can practice on my own car here in person instead of trying to e-tune a customer's car with big injectors or things like that even with big setups i want to kind of do it on my own car and then transfer that to customers cars so with that being said to start this whole process all right i ordered a couple of parts already and i ordered these parts in a direction of I only ordered parts that I knew had to be on the car no matter what because I'm still not sure what turbo kit, rotated kit I'm going to get. Maybe it's going to be the ETS twin scroll. Um, it could be any type of rotated kit, custom rotated kit or anything. I wanted to buy parts that could be installed and not mess with the ability of going with a certain intake or rotated kit or anything like that. So what I did, and here I'm going to show you guys. So I did, um, this is really nothing to be honest. Um, I have a order of oil pressure gauge because you know, you need to know your oil pressure and make sure it's all good. Uh, Visconti actually sent me this is not, well, it's an inline, but it's his custom harness that I think he's gonna be releasing to the public soon. Now, I am the first one to test this out for him, so just so you guys know, most of these parts installs that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna try my best to kind of show you guys the way on how to do it, and like tonight, it's gonna be in series, right? So. Um, going through each part, installing it, how to install it, what you have to remove, what you have to do, and all that. So don't be mad if I'm wearing the same clothes 
because I'm literally filming this all tonight if possible as long as my battery holds up right so I'm gonna do a separate video on this oil pressure gauge I am going to do a video on Visconti's wideband kit for the STIs that I have to test out make sure the lengths are good and all that so I'll keep you guys updated the Cobb flex fuel kit right here if this would auto focus you know for such a good camera you know you think it would focus properly there we go um, this is the flex fuel kit so literally everything for flex fuel now just to remind you guys this is a completely stock car completely stock right so down here we also have the Cobb Access Port 004 and I know some of you guys are gonna laugh at this because it is pretty crazy that I'm actually doing this but I wanted the car as close to possible as stock and I decided to go with ID 2600s on a completely stock car it's only because the 2000s are discontinued and I needed to learn these the, pretty much the biggest set of injectors that you can get for the platform and the car is completely stock it doesn't have rails yet it doesn't have a fuel tank I mean uh, like a fuel pump which actually I'm ordering the fuel rails and in tank within like a week or two but this is going literally on stock rails I think they can fit on the stock rails if not then I'm gonna figure out some way I'll probably have to just wait but I'm gonna sit here and try to at least install these on the stock rails and have stumble for days but I'm only doing this because just for my tuning experience and being able to dial these injectors in and I have the flex fuel kit and I have the wideband kit so I know what the AFR is gonna be I know I can put E85 in on a completely stock car but after tonight it's not gonna be a completely stock car because I also got Tomei I got a Tomei catalyst downpipe and the full cap back well that might be the cap back this might be the downpipe I don't know so pretty much we're going stage two tonight and we're gonna have E85 and all that but I need to dial the ejectors in on pump gas first get them to idle perfectly and because I know myself I want my car to be driving pretty much as stock so I'm gonna try to get them to run as close to stock as possible and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey so I hope you guys enjoy this series I hope that you guys I'm glad that I'm back and we're gonna get to this